Hi, I'm Luca, and behind me is the Canada Water Library in London, designed by renowned architect Piers Goff. Early this morning, I had a chat with him and talked about architecture and how he got to where he is today. Let's see how it went. Hi, Piers. Um, can you tell us who you are and what you do? Yes, I'm Piers Goff, and I'm an architect. I was going to ask about your hair. <laughs> That's <It's>, a... <laughs> I, think, I think it's... How, how do you achieve that look? Well, just you grow the, it, basically, and you keep growing it, and you and don't it have it happens. cut too often, yeah. Um, Is that just my, getting out of bed in the morning? Well, it's gone a bit sort of airy. Yeah. It's a bit like candy floss today, yeah. but yeah. I looked at some of your stuff, um, and your style... I love it, I like your style. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> That's very <laughs> just, nice of you. Um, did you know straight away, kind of, this is what I want to do, this is what I want my, my things to look at? There's a lot of influence of your, what, what you want to do and your style, as you, uh, as you call it. But on the other hand, the thing about architecture that's different is it has a context, it has to go somewhere. Yeah. When the building looks around itself, it will see there's something next door, yeah. over the road, across the thing. So you could say it has to fit in, yeah. or it has to deliberately not fit in. The Canada Water Library. Can yes. you tell me a bit about that? The Canada Water Library is quite a recent building and I really love doing it. Yeah. Um, but it had a very, really quite a small site to sit on. But the people running the library made a bigger and bigger project. So they were like, we want this and we want this and then we want, it's oh, and we'd tricky. like to have a theatre yeah. oh and gosh. we'll have some more um, meeting rooms and yeah. we'll do this and we'll do that. Oh my God, <laughs> you know, got this small site and it looked like the building would have to go up and up and up and up and up and up and up, mm. very high. So in the end, we decided to make it slope outwards. Yeah. And get bigger as it went up. Uh, and it has the most spectacular staircase yeah. in, in the middle, which gets you from the ground floor up to the books yeah. without really realizing it. You know, you're kind of swept up. When I first saw that model, you know, um, the floors are yeah. opened up, I thought, oh my goodness, the, the slanted floors. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> I thought, how, yeah, how does that sure. work then? That would be it's popular. A strange library. Yeah, that's going to work. Um, yeah. is, that, is that the normal that's way of doing things? to people getting the books. Oh yeah, <laughs> just don't let people go in the library. <laughs> yeah, you have to climb up like this. <laughs> it takes five years, five years from thinking mm. of it to finishing it. Yeah, I mean, that's... everyone else has gone off, done it, mm. changed jobs, done yeah. this, uh, been around the world, and you, all you've done is managed to build a building. Yeah. Then when you finish it, someone takes a photo and that's it. You yeah. know, oh, bang, it's all over. The publicity's done, the publicity takes a week, mm. that's it, boof. And yeah. then everybody says, oh, that building. Oh yeah, well, yeah. oh, that's not new anymore. That's last mm. year. Mm. And you think, that took me five years yeah. to do that. And people are already, thinking it's a bit last year. Yeah, I suppose, but <laughs> that's modern day. Uh, you know. This was actually something I was wondering is, do, do would somebody come to you to ask for a building to be designed, or would you come up with the design and then look for somebody to kind of buy the design and say, or, you know, like kind of sell the design? How does... Well, we're very much the first type of architect. We We do the design to order, as it were. People yeah. come to us and then we design and then the And you building. work with the location. And where, where do you draw the line between what's creative and what's kind of what has to work? You, you certainly don't dare to draw a line between them because mm. it has to work. Yeah. Oh, I oh, mean, yeah. It, that, that's number one. You meld the working into such a fantastic creative, creative yeah. experience that people, when they come to the building are, are uplifted. That's where the sort of architect skill comes in. What was, what was your kind of big mm. thing, which kind of you, you thought, right, this is, this is it, this is, I now know that I've made it, I'm, I'm a proper architect. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, that, I hope that was some time ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I did a building on the river called China Wharf, yeah. and it had a crane. You know, they needed a crane yeah. to build it. That I thought, that's it. That's it. I've got <laughs> a crane. You know, once yeah. you've got a crane, you, you know feel you're better. You're yeah. an architect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So I suppose wrapping it up, mm. what advice would you give to somebody my age? I yeah. think basically you've got to think, hmm, yes. I, yeah. ah, buildings, they're, yeah. they're my thing. I think architecture is such a commitment. Five years at uni yeah. and then two more years before you even can call yourself an architect. It's mm. rather like a building. 
it has to work, but on yeah. the other hand, it needs inspiration to yeah. make it, bring it alive. Yeah. It's exactly the same for yeah. a person. Well, thank you very, very much for coming in and chatting to me about architecture. Um, <laughs> well, no, it's been, thank I, you. I, I didn't know anything about being an architect. Or, mm. You can design my house maybe when I'm older. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was really cool to meet Piers Goff and find out his opinions on architecture. Who would have thought it takes seven years to become an architect and five years to make a building? Better get started then. Bye.